Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a review of this little cutie. This is the Coach Pillow Madison in Army Green. And so far this item has only been available abroad, but I heard that it might be coming to Belk. Belk has been popping up with some additional colors, including Petunia, but they haven't been available to add to cart at this point. So if you want this color, keep an eye out there. And I know that I've been kind of down on Belk because they package things so poorly, but if you jump on the bandwagon early enough, you may just get lucky and get one that hasn't been handled or maybe even one that hasn't been unwrapped yet. If not, they have a great return policy. They do make you pay for return shipping, but not if the item is damaged. And also, if an item is slightly damaged in transit and you decide to keep it, they will often give you a discount on that item. This bag is made out of 55% lamb skin and 45% calf skin. And it really is a work of art. The diagonal diamond quilting really looks like some of Gucci's newer bags in their Marmont lineup. And I think it's awfully clever how they combine the different two types of leather. If you look here, the edges, I believe, are calfskin, which is going to lend them a bit more durability. You can tell there's just a slight difference in texture, and because it's calf instead of lamb, the color is just slightly different as well, but it coordinates beautifully. The lambskin has a gorgeous sheen to it. It feels thicker to me than the leather on the pillow tabby. It feels hardier to me. This bag's pillow tag, I believe it is also made out of the calfskin. It feels different to me as well, like thicker, hardier. And I think it's nice how they mixed the two leathers for the functionality of putting the bag together. Not only is it gonna be more durable along here, but also I was told that the diamond quilting can be done more precise and it just lays better when it is made out of lambskin. Lambskin apparently is just a bit easier to work with than calfskin. I did use this bag for two days and this is what I figured out. When you set this bag on a table, it tends to fall forward. That is not good for me. It really worries me because I think that this little turn lock here is going to chip. Coach hardware that is made out of black copper or gunmetal does tend to chip more easily than their brass hardware or their gold or silver hardware does. So that is a drawback for me. The way the bag feels is a huge plus for me. I love it. When you open this bag up and close it, it's a little hard. Like I really have to push it in to be able to turn it closed. And it does get better when there are items in it, but it's still not super easy. And even getting your hand in there isn't, I mean, it's really hard to close it now because it's empty. Getting your hand in there is not as bad to open it, but it's still a little tricky because of the way the C is lined in or covered in leather. It creates just a little bit less space for my fingers to be able to get in there and makes it harder to open and close than let's say the Coach Cassie, for instance. When you open it up, there's a double flap, which is great because it maintains the structure of the bag, just like the Chanel classic flap. But when you open this to get in here, it's just one step that I don't wanna take. Plus, if I front weight the bag, it's gonna be more, even more likely to tip forward. So I'm not, I did not use this pocket at all, nor did I need the space. But if you had something that was lightweight that you didn't wanna, access that often, just something you needed to have on hand just in case, that would be a good spot to put something like that. The main compartment is very large and it is definitely easy to fit all of my items into that section. And it also has this generous zipper pocket. So I am able to use this bag just using this one compartment with no issue. And by the way, this right here is the calf skin. And this right here is the lambskin. I don't know if you can see a difference in color, but the calfskin is just slightly different in terms of shade. 
The other thing that kind of worries me about this bag is that this piece here is metal. Oftentimes they will take this piece and they will cover it with leather, but that does make it harder, I think, to swap out the hardware for Coach if they needed to, like say, do a repair on the bag. So that may be why they left this accessible and had the hardware show. But by doing that, you're gonna end up hitting the turn lock metal on metal when you close it, no matter how careful you are. So that's another issue that I have with this bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Okay, the chain on this bag is very nice. Let me show it to you. I really do think it is gorgeous. But why didn't they make it just a tiny bit thicker? This is a really, a really thin chain to have on a bag with no shoulder strip. Now I realize that they did weave the leather in it, which is beautiful and I appreciate that. But if you wanna carry this bag crossbody, let me just show you. Oh, and by the way, if you're curious where this beautiful top came from and the denim, it's Gia Rose. Gia Rose is the place to go for cute tops and denim at very affordable prices. The top I believe is Jody Phil and I will link it below and the bottoms are Judy Blue and they are a wide leg crop and they are so super stretchy. Okay, so the bag, it's fine for me with one single strap like this when it's empty, but when I get it full, this one little tiny strap is too thin for me to carry it that way. So I would always carry this bag doubled up like this instead of wearing it crossbody. I do want to show you though, if you're a little shorter, you can pull up the center part of the chain as opposed to the outer part of the chain and it will make the bag sit on you higher. I prefer pulling out the outer part just because when you do pull up the center part, it does look like that, but I don't think that looks bad and it gives you a second option. For me though, since I'm taller, I prefer to pull up the, the outer part and have it look like that when I'm wearing it crossbody. And then it just hangs, oh, about that much lower, if you can tell. Another great feature about this bag is the back pocket. It is very roomy and it's also a magnetic closure, which is very functional. Not all coach magnets are very functional, as you may know from watching my previous videos, but this one is very functional. It's gonna hold your stuff inside, but yet not be too hard to get your hand in. And it just closes automatically. You don't have to push it close. The other area that I'm going to watch for chipping is gonna be along these grommets. With the chain running in and out of them, I anticipate seeing some, but let me grab my glasses. I've used it for two days. After two days, I didn't see any chipping, which you really shouldn't see any chipping after two days of using a handbag. But a lot of people lately have been saying that the Ruby satchels that they've been buying with the dark hardware have been chipping terribly within the first week. So even though I've just pulled that chain in and out multiple times and I also wore it for two days, I'm seeing no chipping on the grommets. I know that's only two days of wear, but I feel like if it was gonna do what the Ruby did, it would have at least one tiny chip and I'm not seeing any. So the hardware on this may be just a little better than it was on the Ruby satchel that everybody has been distressed about. And because of that, if I did buy the Ruby satchel, I would buy one with the brass hardware instead of the dark hardware. This bag though really spoke to me in this army green. I do think it is gorgeous. I don't regret buying it. I don't think I'll buy, I say that I might buy one more, but I'm not gonna buy a bunch of these. And my primary issue is the tipping issue. Even when I sit it on my shelf, I have to put stuff underneath the front of it so it doesn't fall over when it's on display. So I really don't like that. The other issues are a little easier for me to deal with. Opening and closing it certainly is a little bit more difficult, but not quite as bad when you do put items in it. Sorry, my puppies are barking. I hate it when they do that while I'm filming. They should know better especially by now when I have like over a hundred videos. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm Erin and I'm the Handbag Housewife. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you thinking? Come on, do it and ring the bell. And then also, if you haven't found me on Instagram, I'm trying to do better about posting outfits of the day, bags of the day, and you may not always get that here. So if you want something different, go over there and follow me. I hope you all have a fabulous day and I will talk to you again real soon. Bye.